cartilage is often injured as a result of trauma. It could be sporting injury, could be car crash, could be anything like that. And it's also lost uh, during arthritis. And when you lose cartilage, it can be painful and the joint doesn't function properly because it's cartilage that's the bearing surface of the joint as you move. And if it's not there, um, the joint grinds and doesn't function properly. And it's a tissue that has no ability to repair itself. So if you break a bone and you're a healthy person, you'd expect it to heal. If you damage your cartilage, it could be as healthy as you like and, it's, and it just won't grow back. So you're left with this lesion. Um, and if you don't already have arthritis, you're going to get it because the cartilage is now damaged and it, one thing leads to another. And restoring it's very difficult because it doesn't have a blood supply. So the first step in healing of most tissues, if you cut your skin, it bleeds, it forms a clot, and the clot then leads to the formation of new skin. Cartilage doesn't have a blood supply, so there's nothing there to initiate the formation of new cartilage. It also lacks stem cells. Stem cells being the cells that come in and restore most tissues doesn't happen in cartilage because they don't have them. So it's a major clinical problem. There's no natural healing process to help you. Surgeons have developed some very innovative techniques uh, where they'll perhaps take cartilage from one part of a joint where it's not needed and put it in the lesion where it is needed. There's technologies where cells are taken, cartilage cells are taken from the patient, grown outside the body, and then go back in in the form of cell therapy. Uh, they can be grown on a scaffold and then you have tissue engineering, but these are very expensive, labor intensive, they involve major surgery, and there's lots of room for improvement. So the uh, lecture's gonna focus on novel ways to address this where we can use new biological techniques to grow new cartilage in an authentic fashion in the body. And this will take the form, my interest is in gene therapy, so I'm gonna be talking about the use of genes to stimulate cartilage regrowth. And um, using innovative types of cell therapy where we don't have to grow cells outside the body and put them back in, but we can actually do something with uh, one step that's minimally invasive and will regenerate the cartilaginous surfaces that your joints need. Well, at the moment, most of the work's been done preclinically, which means it's been done in animal models, and some of that's looking very promising indeed. Um, there's no clinical trials yet on the horizon, but now we have a new center, maybe there will be <laughs> uh, coming up shortly.